Yo, Mega here. Today we're playing Alice's Doki Doku Doll Love Train. So, if you didn't know, this past week from when I'm uploading this, there was a game jam where people had a week to make a game. And this game is one of the ones that stood out to me. So we go in and... Okay, so we have uh, Seki Bonki here, right? So, I think the most obvious one is Kogusa, and... So this is a puzzle game where you score based on how many pieces of artwork a pairing has on Pixiv. And I just think that's both really funny and brilliant. So the way this was created, they only had to get the data, and then they used the sprites given with the asset pack, so yeah. So I thought this could be fun, because I could both show off some Toe pairings I know and then talk about pairs. So Kukusa Seki Monkey is a classic. There's a really good Pride Jam game entry about them, so from there, I think my next point would probably be Sine. Kogusa Sine, of course, comes from how Sine teases Kogusa a bit in UFO. Fandom that's actually a bit overplayed, but you give and take, I guess. So, the thing about pairings, though, is they're not all uh, romantic, so it's like... Sine... <laughs> Sine Kaneko. So, I interpret Sine and Kaneko as mother and daughter, and it's like, if you interpret them as romantic, that's also totally fine, but yeah, that still contributes to artwork, so that's cool. Kaneko Suwaku, though, I really like to think they're married. Like, Kaneko's able to outsmart her, Suwaku retires, and then they just live together. Like, I think it's a very simple yet effective relationship. So then, my next thought for Suwak would probably be Cerno because of how Cerno freezes frogs. Yep. And you might be thinking, shouldn't use Dayusei. But that's the other part of this game. If I use Dayusei with Cerno, who would I pair Dayusei with after? So it's kind of a balancing act. So I could also do the fairies of lights, but then there's a question of, do they pair with other people after? I think I have an idea. So, let's see if Sunny pairs three pieces of artwork. And you can see the pairings go up here. So then, I know for a fact the pairings are going to pair with the only two, really. Okay, uh... This is where my gamble hits, so... Clownfeast hangs out with the fairies in the manga. I'm hoping there's a piece of artwork with at least one of them. We'll see. Yes! It's a 10 times bonus, but 10 times 5 is not that much in the long scheme. But yeah, now I'm out of uh I'm out of obscure characters, so now I can do more, so Hecatea, I always like to think of as a kind of mother figure to Clownfeast. Let's see if that works. Yep. Then, Hecajun. So, as y'all might know, Junka is very angry. She misses her son. But one of the things I really like is that her relationship with Hecatea is really simple. They just like and support each other, and I think that's nice. So, this is indeed one of my favorite pairings. Yep. Then, Junko, this is easy. It's a racin. There's many ways you can interpret this. I like to interpret it as Raisin reminds Junko of her son, so that's why Junko feels a fondness for Raisin, but if you think it's romantic, that's totally okay. So... See, now with Raisin, we're back into a popular character, so we can pair her off with a lot of people. So, Psyche Bonky's already off, because one thing I was thinking was maybe Tei, Kagoro, and then... Wakashime, but then it's like, where do I go after Wakashime? Because I can't put her with Seki Bonki since we already did Seki Bonki, so. I could do the moon loop. So. Eren could be romantic. I like to think of it as mother daughter. I really like Eren Kaguya. I, I like Eren Kaguya more than Kaguya Moku, for the record, so. Feel free to disagree with me on that. That's because one of my all-time favorite Toho pairings is Mokukaine. 
Moku and Kaine have one of the just most heartwarming relationships in the series. They just like each other so much as friends, and then t looking at that from the perspective of romance, I I think it's really, really special. Okay, so this is actually something I saw on stream, because this game was streamed, and Zune actually helped out a bit, but yeah. So one link you can do from here is IQ, because they have the history connection. I like to think of them as friends personally. Aku Kosuzu, though, I really do like them paired together. Because from what we see, they're each other's closest friends, so I like the idea of them being paired. And then, where is she? Kosuzu and Mamizu. Of course, this might have changed later because of events in the manga, but this is fan work from across the years, so. Yep. Times 10. I could get into a UFO loop. The question is, what do I do after I get out of the UFO loop? Because I'm thinking... Well, I use a new way. It's like... Oh, I need a link with Rain when Marissa to keep this on track. But Mamizu and Nue. Mamizu and Nue are best friends, so that's a relationship dynamic I like a lot. But then where would you go after? Mamizu was with Moku in the fighting games, but can't do that anymore. Ron, maybe? Yeah. So that's paired with the idea, I think it's Tanuki and uh, Kitsune. Not Kitsune. Uh, well, Ron's fox species are meant to be sworn enemies. So it's like that idea of pairing things that are different against each other. I could go into the Toe 11 cast. But then how do I get out? Maybe Suika? I'll see. So... This is Ron and Chen. Just... Really adorable together. I love all the interpretations of Ron just doting over Chen. I think that's adorable. Yeah, but then Chen... I think the obvious answer is Orin. Then from Orin, you can get Utsusho. I'm hoping Koishi does. I know Satori would for a fact, but it's like, eh. Yeah, okay. Again, this does not exactly have to be romantic, so like the Koishi Satori tag in terms of love, that could just be sisterly love, so. That's how. That's, just, that's obviously how I like to think of them. But yeah, just the Koishi, Komeji sisters together. Cute pairing. So here... I don't know what I'm gonna do with these two. I guess... Th if, th if I ever run into a bug, I could probably pair it with Yamane. But I really wanted Satori, because I'm pretty sure Satori has some art with Parsi. Yeah. And then Parsi Yugi. These two have never interacted in canon. But the idea... Like, Yugi's brutal honesty paired with Parsi's hidden jealousy, but it's like, if Yugi is brutally honest, there isn't much she's hiding from her. Like, that dynamic idea is just so hilarious, so I, I like that pairing a lot. There's been a lot of good fan works about it. Okay, so then, from here, we have Suika. Where is she? Print works. Yo, oh, fighters. Okay. Yeah, because it's like Suika. They're just kind of homies because they're only on a mountain. I kind of want to do Suika and Mioi, but it's like I have no idea who to put Mioi with after. So maybe I'll just do the easy way because. Kasen, yeah, Kasen and Suika, good friends. I like that pairing. I am really tempted to do Kasen Komachi because Kasen Komachi is indeed one of my favorite ships. But it's like, after Komachi, 
you could probably do uh, Shiki Eki, but then who do you do Shiki Eki with? Is there another death goddess somewhere? I don't know, so I would probably pass on Shiki Eki for now, and yeah, I think I'll bring out the big guns and do Reimu. Yep. Goss and Reimu I don't chip romantically, but I do really love the sort of mother-daughter relationship in Wild and Horned Hermit that Goss and Reimu fill. So, Reimu, it's like, she could go with a lot of people. So I need to find one that leaves it open to other people, so then... Okay, I'm thinking maybe a Scarlet Mansion loop? So, Race Akia. I kind of like this pairing because they're both serious, but I actually like, uh... I like uh, Sakia and Marissa more because the dialogue the two have together in Toho uh, 6 is really, really funny. Like, really funny. <laughs> then Sakia. I don't know if Mei Ling has fan art with. Remilia. Is that a bet? I'm, is that a risk I'm willing to take? I think it is. So, put Mei Ling here. Saku Mailing is, of course, uh, one of the most popular pairings. Kind of like this aloof bodyguard with how people like to portray Saku is kind of serious. So, that one's pretty cool. This I don't know. Okay, good. I guess when you're the Toho 6 cast, there's been so many people, you're bound to get paired eventually. So, Remy Flan again, sister pairing. Yeah, sisters have a lot of points, it seems like, so then... I'd like to put Flan with Hatch. Okay, that actually had less than I thought, but... They're together in the extra stage, so I like the idea that... Patch is... that besides the Romilia, Patch is usually the one who's hanging out with Flandre. And then from Hatch, we could go to Alice. Yeah. Now Patch and Alice are paired. Oh. I could do medicine, but it's like, who do I put medicine with after? Hmm. Of course, the obvious answer is Marissa, but I might want to save that for later. But, I don't know. I think it seems like I probably have to do Marissa right now, so I think I'll try it. Yeah, they weren't... They didn't have a team in the fighters, so... Marissa. Marissa... yeah. I guess I can talk a bit about Mariali. Mariali, of course, being one of the most popular. It's a variant I'm fine with. It's not one of my favorites, but I understand why it's popular, so I can appreciate it. Honestly, I think you could pair Marissa up with a lot of Stage 5 bosses and there'd be a match. I'm pretty certain you could pair her off with Yuka because of their relationship together in the PC-98 games. Marissa Okina, and then... I could put Okina with a Yukari. This better be an option, or I'd be mad. Ah! Okay, so it's like... Ta-da! <laughs> so... The reason I wanted Marissa Okina is because Okina is kind of like Marissa's mentor figure, so I think that's a really important relationship, but I guess this game didn't have it. Uh, probably gonna edit this part out. Yeah, I'm back, so... I was taking record of what my score was, so... Guess I'll try one more time. Okay, so... I can try a different route this time. Let's see. Kanako Utsusho. Because Kanako gave Utsusho her power, so that pairing happens a bit. Something I'm curious about, though. Since Kutaka's a bird... Nope. Okay. 
All right, new one. Sine. Raysana is a pairing I know a lot of people like. What other Sine pairings could you do? Hmm, how about Kogusa? And then I'll do a familiar loop, but... For those of you who don't know, Seki Bonki, Wakashime, and Kaguro form the Grassroots Yokai Network. Which is kind of like a collective of yokai who gossip with each other about the status in Tokyo. It's almost a sort of parody of social media. So, that's why those three go together. Kaguro Terui. I think it's this idea of, like, yeah, big wolf and a bunny, even though Kagura's the nice one, and Terry's kind of insane. <laughs> yeah, but now we can do this again. Oh! Okay. I'm gonna take a risk. I know this is a pairing. The question is, is this a pairing? Yes. Because now with the 10 times bonus, Eren Kaguya. Oh, I should have done Moku Kaguya. Oh well. <laughs> Edit backwards. Okay. Huh, Kaguya's on her own. I guess? The reason why I did that? They're both princesses. <laughs> okay. Yuko Yukari. This is one that's very close to my heart. Yukari does not have many friends, so... I think as Suika says in Lotus Eaters, when Yukari is being mischievous, that's actually just her trying to get attention. She wants to be involved because she doesn't really know how to become friends with people. So that's why her relationship with Yuko is so special. Even if she only has one friend, she has one of the closest friends in the world, and I think that's really important. This is another thing I saw from the stream, which is... Huh. Let's see. Will this count as romance? Yes, okay. Sukari and Mary Bell. That's a can of worms. I'll just say, uh, Sukari and Mary Bell. There's this guy named Lafacito Hearn who changed his name to Lafacito Yakumo when he moved to Japan. Yukari's last name is Gyakumo. Mary Bell's last name is Hearn. They both kind of look similar. And then Renko and Mary. Where to begin? This might very well be the best pairing in Toho, and it's to the point where it's almost canon, because there's a song in a CD that implies Renko and Marybelle share a bed together, there's so many moments, Renko's, Renko shows Marybelle to her parents, they go on adventures together, they write a book, it's like... They are so in sync and in tune, I'd honestly be, su be surprised at this point if it weren't meant to be a romance. But then there's this- there's this angst that goes around that maybe one day Mary- Mary Bell turns into Yukari, so then they're separated. So, that dynamic's really fascinating. If you haven't looked into Mary Bell and Renko, they are part of the Toho music CDs. I highly recommend it. And then I did this because... Yes. So, Renko and Sumi Renko have the same last name. They look similar, have similar hats. Sumi Renko, her story takes place years before Renko's does, so... Ancestor, maybe a grandmother? Yeah, that's how that works. This is another loop I saw. Dorimi helps out Sumi Renko a ton. Reynosuke is not in here, but that's probably for the best. Helps out uh, Sumi Reko escape the dream world, so 
They technically have a very close relationship because Dormi has saved Sumiriko's life on countless occasions. Dormi Sagume is one of the funniest relationships in the series. Cause Lokei is just them trying to piss each other off more and more. And I love the fan interpretation that this like game of chess they keep playing with each other kind of loops into like a begrudging respect and that's where the ship comes from. So in canon, Seiji idolizes Sagume because Sagume is like the ultimate Amanajaku. So, that's where that comes from. Okay. Seiji Shinyamaru. This is one of my absolute favorite Toho pairings. I made a visual novel about them. Yeah, just Shinyamaru's innocence mixed with Seiji's angst and the idea that maybe someone can break through she Seiji's angst until she's just left with a broken mess of feelings. I like that a lot. I used Yukari already, right? Okay. Okay, Shinimaru could totally go with Tenshi because they work together in the fighting games. The question then is, who does Tenshi go with after? I might do Reimu just to get a main character in? Probably. Okay. So yeah. Plus 11. <laughs> okay. I hope this works. Yeah, Reimu goes with everyone. Raymari would get me a lot of points, but it's like, I'd, I'd still want to save Marissa for later. Or, yeah. Does Momoyo pair with any other character? Because I'm thinking Aya. Aya to Megamu to Shimata to. No, to Megamu to Momoyo to. Sakas. Ah, it's a very complicated loop. I haven't used Ron yet. And I haven't used Orin. Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do. Aya Reimu. I love the idea that Reimu is so interesting to Aya that it kind of breaks through Aya's selfishness and you get to see a different side of her when she's around Reimu. So that's why I like Aya Reimu. It's one of my favorite Reimu pairings. Megamu is one of the head, uh... She's one of the head... Oh yeah, you get a bonus for using new characters, which I think is fair. Megamu is one of the... She's the head of the Tengu, so they're paired together. Megamu Sukasa. Two new faces, so that gives me double the bonus. So Megamu and Sukasa. Sukasa is a manipulator, but you see in To 18 that Megamu really doesn't want Sukasa to get hurt, so. I like the idea of Megumu sort of doting over Sakasa. Yeah. Despite Sakasa being manipulative, I'm guessing she probably enjoys the attention. So Sakasa and Ron. These two species, I'm pretty sure, absolutely hate each other. Yeah, they absolutely hate each other. <laughs> so, I think I'll stop here. I didn't get to do many of the UFO pairings, but it's like... I think I've already actually talked about UFO relationships in uh, my writing advice video, so if you want to play this game, I'll have a link to it in the description. Be aware from when I'm uploading this, it might only be up for a month because the Game Jam site is eventually going to get taken down, but yeah, this is uh, Alice's Love Train. I hope that was fun for you to watch, and yeah, I had a lot of fun making this. It was nice to finally sit down and talk about Toho Ships. Uh... What's that one guy's name? I need to find him. Yeah, I'll edit until I find his name. Okay. Not Potato Bolshevik. I finally made a tow shipping video. I'll do a serious one later, but for now, 
I hope you're happy. Yeah. Whew. So yeah. See you in the next video. Uh, bye.